Hi guys, it's ASMRF welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll edit five or six photographs which is like wildlife type photography and I'll make a preset in front of you and I'll provide you that preset download link in my video description. All cities are locked down for the coronavirus and COVID-19 and I hope that you will all be safe and stay at home and be like hygienic for that. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first, I got this image. This all image I downloaded from the unsplash.com. This image, actually this one, I got it from unsplash.com. And I'll provide you that image download link for your practice purpose. Press Ctrl or Command J. I'm making a copy for the like backup layer, and then I'll edit this photo. Go to the filter and camera filter. I'll edit all the photo in a camera filter just because of the xmp file i need that xmp file to provide you or share with you and if you have the xmp file you can use that xmp file in your lightroom as well so how to use the xmp file in lightroom i'll show that tutorial in another episode today i'll show you the process of this editing here i think add some shadow like this and blacks will be like this and texture like that and temperature like that or i can edit the color balance or white balance from here just place over here or here i think this one is good the white balance is done like that and the saturation and vibrance here a little bit up and then go to the tone curve and from here blue tone curve now warm you weather it's look like this and the hsl panel from here i'll make the green like this and the saturation i'll increase like that luminance i'll make it down the brown color i'll increase the brown color luminance and saturation so you know that the luminance is the intensity of the color and saturation that is the percentage of color in hue which color will be that defines with the hue and shadow i'll add some shadow and like add some contrast and like that so that's good and then in the effects options you are getting the grain and proscribed vignetting two things and i'll add some little bit vignetting like this it will make your photography like nice from here the green here is the for the color grading you can use that things yeah that's good and add some sharpening and noise reduction that is the luminance of noise reduction and from here here is the red portion if i consider like this yeah that's fine so let's see the before one and after one before and after huge difference between two photos this photo is faded and not prominent the subject and this photo is like all the things is prominent and like bold type so i'm saving these settings save the settings and giving the name 01 for you guys and i'll provide you that xmp file to you and here i'm saving over here w1 so w and one saving these xmp file and hit ok it's taking time to load it up and provide you the final output yeah the before one and after one the huge change of this now go to the open options from the file and i'll insert another photo which is like a little bit different like this the lion press ctrl or command j and go to the filter camera of filter so one information if you are the user of the cs version you will have to install the camera filter manually so get the manual download link in my video description and if you are the user of the cc version cc 2020 or 2019 whatever it is you are getting the camera filter in cc version by default so from here go to the vibrance option i'll make the vibrance like that and light will be like this and then i'll make this one a little bit wormy and here from here rgb tone curve i'll make it like this and make it like artistic type so that's nice and from here amount of grain i'll add some grain from here for the artistic look and the amount of vignetting a little bit down and the sharpening amount i'll increase the sharpening and luminance of noise reduction it will make more sense 
and from the calibration options i'll make the calibration like warm tone and it will be like this and this so before one and after one so you're getting the artistic look of this so i'm saving this one for you guys this one is uh, like uh, artistic in a express way so i'm giving the name w2 and save it out and hit the ok button i think this one is prominent uh, photo before than that so i want to make the highlight my subject so subject is here the lion in this photo you are getting all the stuffs are just annoying you to get the defocus or uh, get your focus to other subjects but in this photo you are getting the focus to your subject so this one is the purpose of this photography and then go to the file and open up i'll open up the next image which is uh, like a uh, uh, monkey like this a naughty monkey and press ctrl or command j and go to the filter camera filter from here i'll increase the shadow and add some blacks dehaze like this increase some lights and contrast decrease the highlight a little bit and vibrance and the saturation a little bit down and from the hue of the green i will make it like this and the saturation will be like that and then the vignetting a little bit vignetting and the grain i'll remove the grain from here and the calibration from calibration i'll make the calibration like this and like this split toning i'll make this split toning which one is perfect find it out i think this is good and here shadow tone curve you know split toning is that things uh, the shadow color and highlight color and here is the shadow hue hue is the color which one you pick it up and the saturation percentage of the color how percentage will be or like that so i think that's fine and from the warm i'll add some warm like that yeah let's see the before one and after one before and after two of things are based but uh, i think this one is a little bit uh, like a uh, creative and hit the ok button before that i'll save it out save the settings and give the name w3 uh, save it out and hit ok let's go to the next photo go to the file and open up from here i'll find a photo which is the crocodiles or the getter like that press controller command j and then filter and then camera filter in this photo you are getting some noise over here i'll at first reduce the noise go to the noise reduction options and i'll remove the noise and color noise as well and then i'll go to the temperature here from the white balance i'll pick the white balance from here and the dehaze option i'll make it dehaze and the saturation of the green i'll increase and the hue i'll make it like this and the luminance of the green color from here go to the tone curve go to the green portion and yeah that's fine the calibration i'll increase that and like that and from here i'll add some vignetting a little bit pro scrub vignetting and the highlight reduce the highlight add some shadow and the whites will be like that so before one faded photo after one you're getting like that i'm saving these things the preset will be number four that means w4 giving the name w4 and saving it out i mean all the things are saving for you guys and i'll provide you that things in my video detail go to the file and open up now i'll take another photo which is like uh, this squirrel and press ctrl or command j I would like to make it like uh, the lion's photo so go to the filter camera filter and i'll import that that preset which i made it that is the number two and then i'll only touch the like orange color how to touch that so here i'll increase that things in the saturation as well and the 
you i'll make it like this so that's good and the highlight a little bit like that and the vibrance i'll increase the vibrance and decrease the saturation so i'm getting another before one was like that and after one you're getting like that the highlighted and prominent subject you are getting over here and saving the settings and go to the save options and giving the name w5 so i'm making these things or making this preset from another preset so you can try it out and hit the ok button so that's all for today stay at home do practice for this type of editing and you can cultivate or you can experiment with your photographs if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and if you want to get the download link of the preset and the photo credits please check out my video description until the next video i am sending out today bye bye